In this exercise, you will create a plot layout tab with three viewports at three different scales showing different features dimensioned using dimensions in paper space. And you can see an example of that on the screen right now. I'm going to begin by opening up the elevation dimensions model space drawing that was previously created and dimensioned entirely in model space. I'll go to the Layout tab, and I'm going to right-click on that tab and go to the Page Setup Manager, where I'll set up a new page setup here, and I'll call it B-Size Layout. B-Size Layout. I'll say OK there, and I'll give it the following settings. I want to use Adobe PDF for the printer. The paper size is going to be 11 by 17. It will plot the layout at a scale of 1 to 1. I'll go ahead and say OK here, and then I'm going to hit Set Current to set the B-size layout as the current page setup. As I do that and close out the, the uh, dialog box, you'll see that the paper size did get bigger to match those new layout settings. I'm going to go back into model space and I'm going to scale my title block and my border down and I'll do that using my scale command. I'll select the title block and the border pick in the lower left corner and then I'll type in 1 over 48 for the scale of the drawing. Notice it scaled the title block and the border down. It's down here in the bottom left corner. <clears throat> 48 times smaller. And now I'm going to cut and paste it using the clipboard. So again, I'll select everything with the crossing window and then I'll right click and I'll choose Clipboard Cut from the pop-up box. I'll go into my Layout tab and I will right click and choose clipboard paste and I will paste it I'll try to center it on the the uh, drawing here so that it's it's well proportioned and it, it didn't quite work so let me let me do that again. I had my object snaps on. Let me go back in again into uh, my layout. I'll right click and I'll go to the clipboard and I'll say paste. This time I'm going to turn off my O snaps so that I can place it right where I want, which is right about there. Now, with that uh, set up, I'm going to go ahead and delete the dimensions from model space. So I'll go back into my model. Double click to get into my model. And I'm going to select these dimensions. I'll delete all these dimensions. And then after I'm done uh, deleting these dimensions, I'm going to turn off my grips here. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to set up a, a new dimension style called P-Space. So I'll go into my Dim Style Manager. I can type in Dim Style. I'll start with the Model Dim Dimension Style. I'll say New. I'm going to call this P space. P space. I'll say continue. Uh, from the from the text tab here, I'm going to create a a new dimension text with the height of 
0 feet 0 inches. So I'll go into dim text. I'll make sure that this has a height here of 0 feet 0 inches. It does. And then I will assign a height of 3 sixteenths of an inch in the text tab. And that's important to do because we want the dimension text of 3 sixteenths to be the height that's driving the dimension text itself, not, not the height of the textile. And that's why we set the textile to be at 0 feet 0 inches. We don't want there to be a conflict there. Now I'll go to the Fit tab and I will select Scale Dimensions to the layout. And that's important. And then I'll say OK. I'll close out my Dimension Style Manager box. And now I'm going to select the existing viewport, and there's only one, and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to recreate three new viewports. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the three below option here. <clears throat> I'll say OK. And then I'll place a window within my border to place those three viewports. And as soon as I place that window, they are put into place. I'm now going to resize these viewports, so I'll double click to get into model space. I'm going to turn off my grid. I'm going to set the scale from the viewport scale down here to be 3 eighths of an inch equals a foot for my garage door. And then I'm going to pan over to show that garage door in the model area. So I'll pan, I'll pan up until it's in the model area. In the next viewport, top right here, is going to be the front door. And I'll set the scale there to be a half inch equals one foot. From the viewport scale, I can do that off the status bar. Here's a half inch equals a foot. And then I can pan over to the door. And I want to place it so mainly just the door uh, shows in that viewport. If I need to, I can resize the viewport, which in this case I need to do. So I'll double click anywhere outside of the viewport. And then I'll, I'll resize this viewport to show just what I need it to show. The last viewport at the bottom, I'll double click to get into model space within that viewport. I'm going to turn off my grid again. And I'm going to set the scale here to be 3 sixteenths of an inch equals 1 foot. You could pan around if you needed to. That looks correct. I think I'll go ahead and pan up just a little bit. And after I've completed this, I'm going to go ahead and lock the viewports. So I'll lock this viewport by coming to the status bar. And that locks the scale and the pan magnification. I'll go up into this viewport and I'll lock it. And into the top left viewport and I'll lock it as well just by clicking on the little lock here. I'm now going to add my dimensions to the objects in paper space for each of these three viewports. And most of these are linear dimensions. I can go to the Annotate tab and use the Dim Linear option. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'll turn my O snaps back on. With the Dim Linear, I can pick the two uh, outside points, bring my dimension down, 
Notice my dimension is on the purple layer, the dims layer. Currently my viewports are not on the correct layer, so I'm going to select my viewports and put them on a layer called viewports. And there is no such layer right now, so I'll I'll open up my layers property manager and I'll create a new layer called viewports that's has a yellow color, a continuous line type and a default line weight. With that layer created, I can then select those viewports and put them on the viewports layer. Now, finishing up with the dimensions, my front door has a another linear dimension, giving the width of it, which should be three feet, and it is. And then a vertical dimension. Let me put that on the other side. A vertical dimension for the height of the door, which should be six feet eight inches, and it is. If I want to suppress the extension line so that it's not on this object line in this viewport, I can do that by selecting the dimension, right clicking, going to properties, and then from the properties palettes, scrolling down to the extension the extension line that I want to suppress. In this case I believe it's the second one. It is. I just turned that extension line off and now you no longer see it on top of the object. <clears throat> if I want to resize the viewport a little bit more I can do that at any point as well. Okay, the last uh, the last view that needs dimensions is this bottom viewport and notice there's currently a dimension that's drawn in that view. I'm going to delete that dimension. I want my dimensions to be done in paper space and if I and if I do them in paper space they'll only show up in paper space and not in all the viewports. So there's my 16 for the width of my door and then if I zoom in for the elevation I can put a another dimension that shows the overall length of uh, 42 feet for my residence. I've now completed my dimensions in the three different viewports in paper space and you can see what they look like there. If I want them to print without the viewports I can turn off the viewport layer when it comes to printing and I can do that by typing in uh, layer to get to the layer property manager and then from the viewports layer I'm going to put a red line through the printer there. I'll close that out and now when I go to the print dialog box and I preview my print it shows the print without the viewports. And if you're happy with your print you can Go ahead and print out that PDF.